Okay. Oh. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> right, I'm on my phone. I'm 4G. So let me end. Oh, it's playing up. Okay. Help me. <laughs> right. Let's see if I'm live. <sighs> right. Okay, so I'm not using my iPad. Okay, so I'm not Why? using my iPad. Why? Oh, mute it. I'm not going to use my iPad on 4G, uh, on Wi-Fi. I'm using 4G. Just see if that works better. Thank you for the like. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Final attempt. I don't know how much data I've got and I need to save some to get me home up with my sat nav. So I'm not gonna be on much longer, but I did wanna show you this. So yeah, so I don't know how much of this you heard, but look at this, it's a huge plank, beautiful. And he uses a magnifying glass and the rays from the sun to burn this engraving into the wood. And he showed how he does it on his video. And just this, I think he said takes him 12 hours. And when you put a tea light underneath, say if I wanted this and you put a tea, this all changes colour as well. It's like an oil slick pattern. Elle says, um, may I just screenshot the most unflattering freeze of you, Simon? Sorry. Yeah, I was like, no, what's happening? So yeah, and this, as I said, lights up through the night. He said it's almost like a night light. So Giselle's got one and she gifted me the other one. So mm, thank you. I will treasure that always it's a wonderful wonderful gift okay so moving on you're a trooper <laughs> um let's not lose everything i need to wrap i don't know where to begin really okay so things that you don't really need to know about incense i got white sage i buy this from the seaside every year anyway and they've got it there which was 10 sticks to two pounds so i bought them um, a deck. I'll explain all the decks together. Um, these aren't mine. Gisela, these yours? I think, I think I've got yours. You must have put it in my bag. If they are, I'll post them on to you. Um, but Unless I've bought that much that I don't remember buying them. No, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> Here's the, the other bag that I was telling you about. It's, it's large. Really love this. Again, it's this one is really thick and it's reversible. So you could have it that way, which is nice. But I love the velvet feel of this. So it's like a gold colour on one side and a chocolatey brown on the other. But look... It is such good quality. Really, really good for a nice big deck. So, love that. Um, palm stone with the hair. Because hair, love it. Um, oh yes, I saw this in Brian Carmack Carr's video. Um, and it's the goddess wheel. And you turn, it's got the sabbats on the back. Baltain. and you turn it for each of the sabbats so you can pin it up or it's got a stand on the back so you can stand it up and you turn the wheel and a different goddess represents and you get a a quote for each one really really like that and i bought uh, giselle and keith one of them as well um what we got here oh yeah these candles there was a shop that had loads of candles Candles in, and I really like these. I'm gonna put these on my altar. I've never seen any like this before. But look, I've got a black and a white. Oh, it's like the the columns, isn't it, in the High Priestess card? But they bleed, so they've got these lovely, like a pinkish cerise colour. So as you light them as well, they all drip down the sides. But I thought they would be gorgeous. Thought. I've seen it before from Brian's video. Yeah, when he did his home tour, he showed them. 
And he probably got them from Glastonbury, actually, because he has been... Um, like Christmas and like what's this oh yeah this is what Giselle made me isn't it gorgeous little tarot bag she made it herself which I love and then this I don't think Kate's in but I'm trying to find a way to get hold of Kate Kate from Escape from the Eight of Swords made me this little bag and Giselle passed it on to me Oh, and I wish you could smell it. It's got cloves in there. She's put a little note and you don't undo it. So I'm going to keep this in my tarot bag and it's a pouch for um, protection, grounding and clarity. Oh, it's got Jasper for grounding and protection. I am pyrite for clarity. A lucky sixpence for luck. Sage, clove and mint, coraway and mint for protection and cleansing. And then she's put best wishes and warm blessings for the remainder of your travel, Simon, Kate, Escape from the Eight of Swords. And I love it. It just smells gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. And I was so touched. You know, it's such a lovely, lovely thing for, for her to do. And then with Gis uh, Giselle getting me that bag as well. So yeah, that was really lovely. Um, what else have we got? Right, that goes with the decks. So let me pop that there. Let me just see if there's anything else in this bag. Oh, there is. Uh, Oh, a little, little goddess I got from my desk. And then this one here. Maybe you're finding this interesting. Sometimes it's not always interesting, is it, watching someone else? In crystals, they'd, the shot, there was two. You know, I said there was a chain on my first, on my video. So crystals, it was at Stratford-upon-Avon. And then I saw crystals again when I was at Bath. There was two on the same street in Avebury, and they've been there one year today. So they had a half price sale on all amethyst items. And this is a gorgeous dark piece of amethyst. And it should have been £25. Um, so I got it for £12.50. But it was good, just stunning. And I, I thought £12.50, that is a steal. Cause Let's be honest, that shop, Crystals, is very expensive normally anyway. So because it was their one year birthday. Are you mad? Of course it's interesting. Witchy, witchy porn at its finest. Trust you, Al. <laughs> okay, so Linda Ravenscroft. Oh, love her stuff. You should put it all in. Here's the hand-painted tin, which is gorgeous. And then... The tarot deck, signed by Linda herself. So that's the mystical, mystic fairy tarot, Linda Ravenscroft. And the text is by Barbara Moore. And yeah, she signed the deck. And then I also bought her, her oracle, um, Words and Whispers oracle. And I love it. I don't know if they're sealed or not, but she they've got them all out on display. That's a great thing about Glastonbury. Everywhere you went, you could have a look at all the cards. And if they were sealed, they'd just open them up for you. Yeah, these, these are really, really nice. Beautiful backs. And her husband spread them out and said, pick a card. And I picked Serenity. Um, but they're really lovely. Keepers of the Secrets. Follow your heart. Really, really nice. So, I bought, she's also got hand-painted bags. So, one for her fairy tarot, keep that in. And this one for um, the silk as well, for her oracle. And they will both fit in her tin. So, I loved it. So that's 
that's that. And when they're out the box, you know, they fit side by side. So that's a little tin to keep my uh, Linda Ravenscroft decks in. Her very own tin, you know, her hand-painted tin in these beautiful silk hand-painted bags. So I thought that just makes a really nice, a really nice set. Um, <clears throat> so, sort that out in a minute. I'll be sorting everything out <laughs> after I've gone. Um, what next? This bag. And there's more. So more in a sense. These were from our Art of Africa. And Giselle was telling me about them. They burned for one hour. And this one's sandalwood. And the other one I got was uh, frankincense and myrrh. But they're really long and they're hand rolled. So I've got some incense from there. And then when I was at um, Elaine's in Edinburgh, she'd got some incense that were almost like dupe cone, but long, thick, thick, thick ones. And I said, where did you get them from? She says, oh, Ireland, and I've never seen them over here. Hermit's Cave, I'm living vicariously through your hall. Hi, Jamie Loom. Um, and I managed to get some. And they are really, really nice. So um, I got Tibetan frankincense, Tibetan nag champa, and Tibetan sandalwood. So let me try and explain. You just get a, a bowl of rice and stand them up. They're like thick sticks. Do you get what I mean? Oh, but they just smell amazing. And when I was in Elaine's camper van, she left some in there for me so I could do my meditation practice at night before bed. And I lit them and the camper van just smelled divine. I was like, I love those incense. But as I said, she didn't know you could get them over here. She picked them up in Ireland. So when I saw them today, and they come with a little holder, but I'll be using a rice bowl. Um, yeah, I just, I thought they were great. So, have I opened that one one? What's that? I don't know what I've done and what I haven't done. I think everything over this side I've opened, haven't I? Um, what's this? Oh yeah, so this is kind of like my second most extravagant purchase. Um, but this is what I went in mind to get. So I got a silver um, pentacle. And it's, it's lovely, it's quite a heavy one. And the chain um, is quite thick. So you'll see me wearing that from now on because, oh, I love it. I took my son to the park and when we got home, we found his goldfish dead, which is a hard situation for any first time parent. How do you explain? Yeah, I know, but you know what? As hard as it is, I think having a pet of any sort, especially small pets like budgies, uh, um, gerbils, hamsters, goldfish, I think it really teaches you at, at, at a young age about life and death. I can still remember the first death I have ever experienced and it was my budgie, you know, and I cried and cried and I couldn't sleep and it, it upset me seeing something lifeless. But it, it taught me a lot, I think. And I think that's some good things sometimes about pets. Um, but they can do that for us. <clears throat> this is the other mug. You know the stoneware mug? I love this. And it was quite cheap. It was half the price of the other one. Uh, but I think it's more manageable. But look how gorgeous that is. It's got this amazing handle. It's all misshapen. But what I love about stoneware, sometimes called earthware, isn't it? Is it keeps your drink hot. Just joking. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So I love that mug. So you'll be seeing that during Cup of Catch Up in Cards. Um, what's that? Oh yeah, and I got some resin, some Kapal. 
Kapal always reminds me of the sweat lodge I did a few years ago. Kapal smells amazing when, um, and I got from Pagan Pride, you know, the pentagram, uh, it's like an oil burner with a mesh on top. You just put some foil on top of that, put that on top and it just simmers away lovely. So. Um, nearly done. Just Now, I feel bad about this because this is the other thing that I really wanted. And I said to Sandra, if they had two, I'd get her one. They did have two, but the other one was damaged and they refused to sell it to us because I was going to take the damaged one and let Sandra have this. But they said there was more on the way. Um, and and uh, Giselle said she'll pick her one up. However, I don't know if Sandra's been in touch with you, Giselle. She said, thank you for the offer, but don't worry about it because you can get it online. It will save you having to post it and everything. But you've probably seen these before and I've wanted one ever since I uh, first saw it. And the green man... Um, so is the Gaia statues. And I really, really, oh, bubble wrap. But look at the detail, look at the hair at the back. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got all sorts of creatures in there representing the creatures of the earth of Mother Gaia. And look, her belly has, and the statue I have at home is faceless and it has a hole here and I've put a, fluorite crystal sphere in there to represent the earth but to actually get this you know oh I just think she's a beauty a real beauty and the detail in the carving and everything um so I was so hey Matt hello uh I just think she's she's gorgeous look at her face she's smiling away so yeah so that was the other kind of and it wasn't too dear for something as detailed as this it was 42 pound which wasn't wasn't too dear at all um and the pendant was around 50. so i had to buy the, the chain separate so not bad really and um, considering but to make sure she's wrapped really well and that was from the green man and then the only other thing to show you is the decks so I've showed you the, the two that was um, from Linda, Ravenscroft. And then, um, it's just this one. So, I got the Alice, um, Alice the Wonderland Oracle, which is a Jasmine, uh, no it's not. Yes, Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, I was getting them mixed up then. Lucy Cavendish and artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. Um, I was saying to Giselle today, I, of course an Alistair, I was saying to Giselle today, I never used to like um, Jasmine's artwork at all. It used to put me off. And then I bought, what's that one with the purple gilding that's been released twice? Oh, the name of the tarot escapes me, but I really loved it. <laughs> oh my God, I need to go over there. You know, it's if when, next time you come to the UK, Dave, if you go to Glastonbury, be be prepared because it's like a shop, a, a, a high street of just witchy pagan shops. It's incredible. So because I've got the Dame Darcy, Alice, I've got Baba Studios, Alice, and Barbara Moore, as well as the Alice in the Tin, I don't have an Oracle, so I, I got that. Um, Glastonbury, uh, Matt, Glastonbury. Now, went into this tarot shop, and I don't know how they do it, but they were selling tarot decks, discounted. So I'd always wanted the Lost Code, uh, the Lost Code uh, of Tarot. It's a limited edition deck. Ever since I saw Kelly at the Truth in Story um, show it about 18 months ago, maybe. Um, the artwork is really unusual, but I love it. 10 quid. Should be 29.99. 10 quid. And I just couldn't believe it. And I was like, I wasn't going to get any tarot decks. <laughs> Glastonbury sounds like my kind of heaven. Yeah, exactly. It's just, oh, it's, 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 it is paradise on earth. And then the other one 
which was just a steal, is the Impressionist Tarot. Seven pound. Seven pound instead of 30, 29.95. And again, one that I've looked at for a long time. Um, you know, it's one of these with the magnetic boxes. Uh, it's by Los Scarabio. Beautiful artwork, seven quid. And there was so much more in there, so much more. But I was like, I've got to get all this stuff home. But £10 and £7, so £17 for two decks, it should be 60 quid. So that's me lot. That's um, everything. So five decks, crystals, incense, my pendant, my goddess, some tarot bags. Um, yeah. It's just amazing. So let's see if there's any comments before um, I sign off. Uh, Glastonbury is great. The only place you can go and see wizards and witches on the high street. And yeah, you know, everybody that lives in the town embraces it. There's just people walking around in full pagan dress and, you know, at the cash point. Um, visit Simon and anyone else who lives in the UK that we know in the YouTube community. You must come and see me, you guys. Dave and Matt, you must come. Uh, so I can show you around Nottingham. We could have a weekend in Glastonbury or meet up there and make a weekend of it. Would be good, says Selkie. We're saying to um, Giselle today, if the UK tarot meetup goes well next year for Pagan Pride in Nottingham, um, then the year after we could we could do Glastonbury. Selkie Field, oh my God, that would be amazing. Imagine the combined enablement. <laughs> I need to start saving now for two years time. Matt, oh my God, I just realised your Dave, your Dave is Wizard's Tower. Always thought there were two people. <laughs> no. Matt from Kundra's Table and Dave from Wizard's Tower are a married couple. You will be statue under Millennial Gaia. It was created by Oberon Zell. Be great to see you, Matt and Dave. Yeah, it would. Morning, Lucy. Nice to see you. Any other questions I've missed before I head off? Because... I am using my data now on my phone. And thanks for bearing with me. Um, I've had an amazing time. It, I, I, it's sad it's coming to an end, but I've still got tomorrow in Glastonbury for the tour, the well and the ruins. I've got Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in London, uh, Parliament tour uh, with B and Kelly Bear, meeting Sandra on Wednesday in Watkins. I'm going to be good. I don't need more decks. I'm just going to enable Sandra. I'm going to be like, yeah, Sandra, you need that. Yeah, get that, Sandra. Um, someday, when I save up enough to come back to the UK, I'm going back. I'm going to backpack around and visit everyone. Dustin, you'll have an amazing time. I've only done half the places that I want to go to, but it's been mind-blowing. Everywhere I've gone to, I've, it's been perfect. I made perfect choices. Glad I didn't go to uh, Cornwall. Glad I went to Bath. It was amazing in Bath. It was amazing in Oxford, Edinburgh, Stratford upon Avon. Everywhere I've been to, I've had an absolute blast. Even Devizes, spending that, spending that twenty-four hours on my own. It's just been great. I've loved it. I've pushed through my comfort zone, and I'm, I'm elated. Oh my God! I need to see the statue over on the author of the book. <sighs> Alice Tarot and the Alice Oracle is the best combo for readings. I know I'm excited. And um, uh, I don't know if you'd want me to say on. I'm sure you don't mind, but Dan has opened his decks. You know, when I was with him yesterday, he bought the Druid Craft, the Druid Plant and the Druid Animal. And he was showing some of the cards and messaging me tonight. And they, they all work so well together. So I've added them to my Amazon wish list. I've got Druid Craft, but not the two oracles. Um, but I've added them to my Amazon wish list, but I don't need them right away. So they're just going on my wish list because I've got enough to be uh, getting on with. Holiday of perfection, really has been. And I'm, I'm so looking forward. I'm 40 minutes outside um, Glastonbury. So I was a bit ticked off with late rooms for telling me this was Glastonbury and it's not. It's 15 miles away. Um, oh, Dan, you are still here. Yeah. Um, and I'm really looking forward to just going back tomorrow, 
not doing the shops and things. I'm staying clear of the shops tomorrow, but just taking a nice walk up to the top of the tour, breathing in, might do some meditation up there, obviously do some filming for you guys, um, go into the well, um, and just, you know, having a nice gentle Sunday morning around the quieter parts of Glastonbury, and then getting in my car and doing the three and a half hour journey home. Um, will you stay away though? No, I'll be back. I'll be back on late Wednesday night. And then life goes back to normal. I'll get my head back into work mode, get a job, and uh, life begins again. I wish you had contact me. I know, do you know what, Selkie? I just said to Giselle today, we were talking over lunch, I said, I n never even join the dots that you're in Stratford-upon-Avon. Oh, it's, um, of course, I would have said, ah, oh. I didn't even know I was going there until the night before. And my mate said, Warwick Castle tomorrow or um, Stratford-upon-Avon. I said, yeah, I've not been to Stratford-upon-Avon since I was about 10, I think. 10, somewhere between 10 and 14, anyway. And... Um, and then afterwards, Selkie's like, oh, I wish I'd known you was here. We could have met up. I was like, oh, of course, it's where Selkie lives. I should have known that because I sent that deck. He wants me to start my own YouTube channel and give... Yes! Do you know what? Let's all tell him. Dan Travis is in the room now. I get why you've not been able to do a YouTube channel to date. But that changes now. That's for you to tell people. Um... But you've seen him on my video today, is a great guy, is a very warm and friendly guy. I think he'll be a massive hit on the community. Men doing tarot are, we're growing in number. When I first started doing my channel, I think I only knew of two or three others. Um, and we're growing in number now. But Dan's got some really unique perspectives. Um, and again, it's his story to tell you, but he's had a very unique upbringing. Um, is, you know, paganism, uh, witchiness, um, tarot has always been part of his life. And a lot of people who have channels have come to tarot or come to Pagan Path uh, later in life. So I just think he would, he would, his channel would be great. So I've been encouraging him to do a, a channel. And um, you can tell everyone. You can tell everyone, Dan. Get your channel up. <laughs> um yeah, think of a name. Well, you could even just be Dan Travis. You don't have to have a name. But, um, yeah, it would be great. It would be great to see you putting out content. It can only be a good thing, Dan Travis, yeah. And he is a really interesting guy. I've spent two days with him this week, and he is a really, really interesting chap. So you'd, you'd all love his channel, I'm sure. At the Stonehenge... At the Stonehenge, yeah. <laughs> Matt messaged me this morning. He's like, oh my God, I've only just realised it's called Stonehenge. I always thought it was called Stonehenge. <laughs> At the Stonehenge, Simon, I know it's Stonehenge. I did catch the other game. No, you didn't. You didn't. You thought it was. You messaged me and told me. Hi, Wizards Tower. How are you? Yes, Dan, do it. You see, you're getting the support. I really love listening to men talk about these things. We need strong male and female figures always. I agree. Do it, Dan. Hi, Sue. <laughs> Do it, Dan. I'm a born and raised witch, so hence my unique perspective. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it's, like I said, very interesting to talk to, so he'd be great. I have a channel, but no content yet. Still working up to it, as I've already told many others. Yay, Kay. Well done. We will support Dan. And that's what I'll say. I, I always say this to people. Um, you know, some people said to me, oh, I don't know if I've got anything to say. I don't know if people like my stuff. We're such a supportive community. Such a supportive community. People will, um, you know, support and encourage um, Keith says, you should make videos if you feel like it, Dan, no pressure, it's up to you. Yeah, and it's all, Dan knows, it's all sort of like, you know, no one's not going to talk to him because he doesn't do it, it doesn't matter, but just because he's got such an interesting perspective, I think to share that with others would be really beneficial. 
Dan's gonna make all the pagan ladies swoon when he puts out his first video. <laughs> now that's that's very uh, heteronormative, Al. Might not just be the ladies who swoon. <laughs> I would love to hear more about that, Dan, as I'm raising my kids or trying to raise them that way. I would love to, yeah, exactly. Dan could talk about his experience, no, the pagan boys. <laughs> I would be, I think you'll get girls swooning as well, Dan. It would be interesting to meet someone who grew up pagan. I'm still a bit nervous. Yeah, and it is nervous. The, fir the first time I sat down to do my first video, as I've said before, it was a tag response to Armand Lynch. I was like this, with my finger poised over the record button, and then press, uh, stop. <laughs> I was there for ages. And then I just thought in the end, oh, just do it. You can always take it down afterwards. It's that first one, that first doing it sometimes it can be. But I don't think Dan would have a problem with that. I don't think he's a shy guy by any means. I mean, he's been on Channel 4 this week, mainstream TV. So he's not going to have a, a problem. Purely because I'm hearing so many pagan girls coming out for a witchy, witch boyfriend lately. Yeah, we all want we all want a witchy pagan partner. <laughs> we should start a, a a witchy pagan sort of dating channel. <laughs> Keith is done. I'm doing right. My sister and I are born witches, but because of discrimination, we had to find ourselves later in life. Such a shame. Uh, I think I have five or six false starts on my first vid. Doesn't matter, it's good once you get going. Yeah, exactly. Tinder for pagans. Yeah. Or tarot Tinder. <laughs> that would be fun. Plentyofpagan.com. <laughs> uh, Set it up, Simon. Oh, I don't know. That's a common story. I'm up for that channel idea. Yeah, me too. Let's do it. I just don't want to be the one doing it. Your next topic, Simon. <laughs> Good idea, your new job, Simon. I grew up Catholic, so it's a struggle for me to know how to raise my kids knowing about paganism. I think one growing up pagan would have a lot for the community. I agree. That was me, Wizards Tarot. The first video I attempted was 39 takes of, Hi, I'm Matthew. <laughs> you just don't know how to start, do you? I have a wizard in the family. You're married to a wizard. Hi, Simon and everybody. Great to be here. Hi, Brianne. Lovely to see you. Okay, so I think I'm done. Um... Wow, 72 people in for the third attempt as well. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, I've got to find a way to pack all this now because I'm leaving in the morning to go back to Glastonbury and I'm not coming back to my accommodation. So ugh, I'm not looking forward to this bit. Packing. Had a great rest tonight, an amazing day tomorrow. Enjoy. Thank you, uh, Andrea. I will. And I'll be in touch tomorrow. You know when. So I'll be in touch with you. I'm still navigating the video making. You're doing great, and Teresa, you're doing great. Um, 39 takes, that will be me too. Oh man, I miss it. Sorry, Pat, nice to see you. You, you, can, you can watch them back, they're not too long, probably about half an hour each. So, okay guys, so when will I next see you? Probably... Thursday? Oh, it sounds forever away, doesn't it? But, um, yeah, so... Unless me and Kelly Bear do a live together. We usually do, if I go to Kelly. It's on her channel. Probably might be Tuesday night. I'm there Monday night, Tuesday night. Um, so we might, we might do a live together. So look out for that. I'll have to speak to her, though, rather than just uh, stay safe, Simon. You get used to talking to camera over time. Yeah, you do. And then in the end, like this, I really do feel like I'm, I'm speaking to a room full of people. I know it's, for me, when you, it's weird because you're just looking at 
words on a screen, but it doesn't feel like words on a screen. I actually feel like I'm in a room with all you people. It's really weird and I feel like I'm having a conversation, not with myself, but actually with you all because you interact and, and answer back and it's great. It was great spending this time with all of you. I'm going to finish my tidying now. <laughs> see you all again. Yeah, see you, Kay. Um, love you and Kelly live. Yes, do a live. I'll see what she says. I'll see what she says. I'm sure we'll do something. I'm sure of it. Um, and we're seeing the lovely Bassetti on uh, Tuesday as well. And I've just seen that she's in the room. Can't wait to meet you. Um, so that'll be great. Okay, so... Thanks for coming and have a fab evening. It's sad there's no Kelly tonight, isn't it? But I'm sure last week when she put a notice up saying see you all Sunday. So maybe I'll be back home from that, doing laundry and stuff. So, me too. <laughs> okay, guys. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you at some point next week. So take care. Wherever you are, whatever you do, go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.